there were some studies done where men actually know if they're going to fall in love, believe it or not, by date two. That's fast. Where women know whether they're going to fall in love by date 14. All right, I want you to know the, the when and the time frame, but I want you to know how and the reasons. All right, so let's hop right into number one. He can be himself around you. Now think about those first dates, and I used to do this in my young 20s. I would show up and I'd be all flashy. And some, I, I, I subconsciously must have known that women were attracted to someone that, was, that had power and, and, and had his act together. I didn't know what I was doing, but I always like made it seem like I had this amazing job, which you know no one has an amazing job in their 20s. And I made so much money and I was doing so well and I was so happy. And was that truly me? I mean, part of it was. But did she feel like she was getting to know me? I mean, probably not. It was just like this flashy front. But you want him to feel himself around you, right? So that he can let down his walls. So like an example of this would be like the guy, you know, a lot of you are probably dating folks that have the dad bod at, at this point. And you say, man, I love men with dad bods. Like that's so sexy to me. And so now he's not self-conscious about that. He feels comfortable. It certainly doesn't help if I'm on a date with a pretty woman going, wow, you look so amazing today. Like, you're so gorgeous. Same thing for a man. Make him feel comfortable. Number two is a man is in king mode. Just like all of you are in queen mode when you're ready to date, he needs to be in king mode before he can fall in love. And what king mode is, he's got to feel like his career is where it needs to be, spiritual, emotionally being supportive, you know, being empathetic, all these qualities that he thinks is what makes a good relationship and he feels he can bring it to the table, then cool, he's capable of falling in love. But if he doesn't feel that about himself, he doesn't feel like he's a king, well then he can't fall in love. So make sure you're finding a guy that feels like a king. Because that, uh, you know, only king and queens get together in successful relationships. All right, number three is does your lives fit together. He can fall in love when he kind of sees that it that it fits. You know, that's kind of why when I do online dating profiles, I talk about how you do things, like what time you wake up, what you make on a Friday night for dinner, what you do. You know, are you someone who's going out on a Friday? Do you want to watch Netflix? Are you reading a book? Are you in bed at like nine? Are you in bed at, you know, 12 o'clock, two o'clock in the morning? Does your life mesh? When you wake up Saturday morning, do you have a routine? Are you going on a three-mile walk? Are you going on a 10-mile hike? Are you going running? Are you sleeping until 11? Does it all fit? Could you guys combine? All right, number four is you are passionate about something. You know, I can't tell you how many times when I'm doing my top five for women, they write that they want a man who's passionate about something. Because I think a lot of us have dated that guy that kind of feels like broken and beaten down, right? Where he's like going to his job like nine to five, like, all right, paycheck. Like, that doesn't sound interesting. The partner I want is like passionate. They're like, I get to do this. I get to like make the world better. And it doesn't matter what the job is. He could be a janitor. He could be a CEO. As long as he's like, I'm making the world better and I'm happy to go in, you're excited about it. Now, he wants the same thing. He wants you to be passionate about something. You know, just being passionate about him is not going to be enough. Because as we know, every relationship is going to have parts that are not great. And when it's not great, you need to be able to lean on your other things. And so being passionate about something else, whether it be work or some activity, there's other ways for you to find happiness. And I've talked about this in other videos, but men will never commit unless they feel like you are happy and will be happy for the rest of your lives. So what that looks like is having different ways to find happiness, whether it be through friends, through family, through activities, through your passions, through work. Once he feels all that, then he can fall in love. All right, number five is you guys can have fun together. You know, plain and simple, like, Love should be fun. Dating should be fun. If it's just like work, like that's not cool. Like he wants, you know, he wants to like take the covers, 
throw them over, pretend to be Batman, and just like go running around, and you can be whoever, Mrs. Frost or whatever, and you're having fun, just joking around. Like that's what he wants. He wants to be playful, and he wants to leave all those stresses just like you do. You know, life has gone really fast with these phones and work and all these things. You just want to de-stress, and that comes by fun with your partner. If you're having fun, you're going to be able to move past fights. You're going to be able to stay in love forever. Does that make sense? All right, those are your five how men fall in love. Let's sum them all up again. Number one, he can be himself around you. Number two, he's in king mode. Number three, your lives fit together. Number four, you are passionate about something. And number five, you guys have fun together. Do me a favor in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and what do you need to fall in love? And I will do something amazing for you guys. If you made it this long, if you want coaching from me, I'm going to put a link to sign up for a strategy call. Would love to talk to you. And I'll pop that in the description and as the top comment and I'll link it up somewhere around here so you can click. Making life easy. I love all of you. Um, I'll pop some videos up there and there so you can keep watching. And we'll see you next time.